Hey cats, what's happening? Walk with me. Let's go over to the garage for a minute. Or some like to call it the man cave. Get some light in here. Open the doors. Get some air in here. I prop this door open too. I'll get some circulation. It gets pretty warm in here. I've been working on this project a little bit, this birdhouse. You'll see the squirrels have really chewed that out, so I blocked it. I put a piece of wood in there and just kind of painted it black. Um, the squirrels chewed holes in the roof, so I sheeted it with license plates this time uh, to keep them from chewing through the roof. I replaced this platform. I replaced the bottom platform. And I'm just going to trick it out with some little details over here somewhere oh, right here i've got these barbed wire scraps and the original one i had some little posts sticking up here and i had this wire going through it like a little railing going around there out of barbed wire so i might put that on there and then there was a little ladder going up the side here and you'll see the raccoons have totally destroyed it and ripped the ladder off so i'm gonna cut new little pieces of wood and I'll build a new ladder for that and just kind of have it looking nice again. And then that gets uh, attached to the to the back deck. So when you look out the back door, you'll see a birdhouse. And you can put bird seed up here and bird seed down here. And then I still have like all this uh, garage sale stuff over here. You know, the Harley isn't going in the garage sale, but all this stuff over here got to go. So the, the uh, a friend of mine decided that he, he likes to do flea markets and stuff. And he said, well, I, I'll, I'll come over and I'll pick through it and I'll take a lot of that stuff off your hands for you. And I, I told him, I, you know, at this point, you can't give the stuff away. <laughs> it's ridiculous, you know, you you collect all this stuff all the years and then you realize you don't use it and, you know i got a wagon here the kids used to play with but it's it's seen its better days i got some cast iron cookware there that's uh needs a lot of work you don't cook in it the way it is it needs a lot of work an old camp stove uh just tons of stuff so books and games and kids toys and over here I got like antique tools and an old chainsaw that needs some work. Snowblower stain, not going. I want to thank all you guys that have subscribed to our channel. Um, I am very grateful to my subscribers. Thanks for the comments. I mean, so many positive comments. and You guys are full of great ideas. I love hearing your stories, your life stories, where you're at in life. Uh, every once in a while I'll get something nasty. Uh, that's fine. Everybody has a right to say what's on their mind, and I totally believe in freedom of speech, being able to say what's on your mind. But thanks for all the comments, and thanks for the support. I really, really appreciate it from you guys. Uh, it means an awful lot to me. It really does. But on the topic of censorship, YouTube has some very strict policies when it comes to their channels and how they are... are uh, posted on there and what the content is and one of the things that they crack down on uh, mostly because uh, because of children that might be watching these videos uh, they don't want to corrupt kids with things that can be avoided so some of you guys that are leaving comments and there's not very many but every you know I, almost every day somebody comes up with f-bombs and uh, I'm not even gonna go there but yeah those those nasty four-letter words anything uh, sexually explicit or or racist is going to be flagged immediately uh, political things get flagged and it doesn't mean they get deleted it just means they get shot over for review and it's decided whether or not they would allow it to be posted or not. So if you're posting something negative, something derogatory, I mean, negative's fine, but with the uh, foul words in there, 
and then you're gonna wonder hey man how come I can't see my comment on there you know what the yeah you won't see your comment because uh, it's explicit enough that they don't want children to see that kind of stuff and they're trying to keep it off of there if they did see a channel with a lot of that stuff on there they boop that's they they can shut it off and on anytime they want so I don't want that to happen to my channel either so I try to keep it clean so just giving you a heads up if you're wondering why you posted a comment and uh, you're irritated because you don't know what happened to it you don't know where it went well <laughs> it's there <laughs> somebody's watching you're being censored so that could be uh, explicit language it could be uh, uh, sexual content uh, graphic content uh, or or even political stuff so what happens is it doesn't your, your comment won't be deleted but it'll be shot over for review and if it doesn't pass the review then it gets deleted so you'll never see your comment so what I'm saying is you're, if you're going to want to leave a comment and you really got something to say, leave the F-bombs out. Uh, leave the sexually explicit stuff out. Don't need that. Or you, well, whether we need it or not, you won't see it in the comment section. Um, or political stuff we leave off to. So the channel is what it is. You like it or you leave it. Uh, or you can sit there and argue about it. I, <laughs> but thank you for watching anyway, regardless. And... Uh, thanks for keeping my channel what it is because you, you guys are what makes it that censorship for you though you know it's not something that you know I have chosen but it's uh, you know I'm actually working for for YouTube <laughs> for Google that's how it works uh, and then they pay me and you don't make a lot of money on this you can't make a living off of it it's just a little hobby that's what it is so anyway uh, the weather's decent I'm looking at the bike here I'm gonna take it out again and go for a little spin so I'll catch you later